Having seen how we can add a chart to a report to summarize some data and present it in a more colorful format, we can also see that we can add charts to group headers or detail sections and ask them to be filtered by that particular section. Let's take our sample 2013 as our working file. We have already in here from the work we've done, RPT employees group. And this is a report that is grouped by the accounts, then the clerical, then the finance. So it's grouped by the department. And then it shows each of the individuals within that department. What we can do if we go into design is add a small little chart perhaps in the department header. Let's make the department header a little bit bigger to allow for that addition. So we can place our chart here that will only display data for the particular department. So it may be that I wish to have a summary of the salary broken down by town, but only for that department. Let's go to the design tab of the report design tools ribbon. From all of the optional tools, we can choose chart, click and drag a rectangle into our department header. That's going to fit about there and up pops the wizard. So which of our tables contains the data we wish? Well, it's the employees table. We could of course use a query, but we're going to use the employees table. Which fields from within that table are the ones we wish to use for our data? Well, it's the town city and total salary. Next, which chart would we like? Well, let's go for a 3D pie. Next, and then it's going to show me a pie chart where each of the slices is each town and city, and then the size of the slice is driven by the sum of the salary. Fine to me. Next, now this is where I tell it to filter the chart by the region that it's in. Now, previously, we just deleted the suggested links here. Now, I need to actually delete them again and then add my own in. So from the report, I would like to link the department, which is my grouping, to the department in the chart data department. So although I didn't add department to the chart itself because I don't need to see the department on the chart because it's going to be for a single department. I can link the department field from the chart data, which is the TBL employees anyway, and the department field in our report so that they filter the chart. Next, what title would you like for your chart? Let's just put a simple dollar and finish. Now, as previously, the chart appears as a sample chart. It does not show my data until I go to print preview. And then the accounts pie chart is simply one color for North Allerton because we know we have one person and they live in North Allerton. The clerical gets a little more complicated because there are a lot more towns and therefore there are more slices, all of relative size dependent on the total salary bill for that town. And then the same for our subsequent departments, operations. It has a big split there for North Allerton. Finance again has a single person, so it's a solid color. And personnel, four towns, four slices, all of different sizes, dependent on the total salary bill. So in design, we can do as we've done previously and edit this chart by double clicking the chart area, allowing us to take us into the chart tools. And then I could go perhaps to chart options, data labels. Let's place a percentage and the category. OK. Click outside the Chevron rectangle, then print preview. And my charts now have the town and the percentage for each slice, which means I don't need the legend. So we go back into design, back into the chart settings, chart, chart options, legend, no thank you. Now I can resize this, but again, I'm only working with the sample data there. If I click away, print preview. So that's a chart in a group header and filtered by that group header. Filtering is controlled when you add the chart through the wizard, but you can amend it should you have chosen the wrong connection by selecting your chart, bringing up the property sheet. If it's closed, you can soon activate it. And on the data tab, you can see we have link master fields and link child fields. This is where you could effectively change the type, so it's changing the filter effectively. Unfortunately, the three dots bring up it cannot build a link between the unbound forms but there is nothing to stop you typing in the field name should you know it that will provide the filter between the reports data and the chart data. 
So I need to put the department field back in there by typing it away. But if I were to delete them, so that's both the master and the child, and print preview again, you would see that every single header has the same chart because there's no filtering taking place. Go back into design, retype in the department field because that's going to be the adjoining filter between the chart and the data. Print preview, and we're now filtering again by the header that we exist in. So as long as that grouping filter makes sense, then you can go type that into the data tab. You don't have to rerun the wizard to create the chart all over again.